Greetings everyone and welcome to a new series for the channel where we are going to be covering Kingdom Come Deliverance, a new open world RPG but with a, a very, very strong focus on, well, I'd say this was historical fiction, um, that is, it's very, very much grounded in our actual history, but, you know, it's... It, added drama where it's kind of focusing around real world events with some uh, additional drama to drive a, a personal story in which we have agency and uh, can't really change the course of history or at least I, I don't believe you can in this game but we can can be there for those events and perhaps maybe in our story we'll have had a hand in the way things turn out but this is going to be a bit of an interesting game a bit uh, a bit uh, more um, full on than some of the games that I have covered. There will be obviously fairly fairly heavy topics given the, the time period, which is uh, a little bit little bit rife with with problems. Ah, yes, good good old human history, such a lovely place. We should visit it frequently. But uh, that's going to be it for the intro. I do believe that games tend to uh, speak for themselves a little bit better. I have played through a part of the tutorial just to make sure that the recording environment was okay and make sure that uh, my computer doesn't cry over the cry engine as it happens it doesn't which i'm extremely pleased to note but uh, we're going to be jumping in now and letting the game speak for itself so see you in a few moments charles the fourth king of bohemia and holy roman emperor had a long and successful reign the empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles's son, Wenceslas IV whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idle did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Oh no, that is that is a beautiful opening scene. Obviously, Cry Engine, this is gonna be a very pretty game. On the downside, the, the violence is gonna be much less cartoony than we usually see in any games that I play in which there is violence. There's not gonna be so much uh, cartoony Rimworld violence as there is actually going to be. Uh, over the top, doesn't rev well, I'm not gonna say it doesn't. It does a little bit, but uh, it isn't. It isn't poor porn. You don't have to worry too much. I mean, maybe you will be disappointed with this thing. But here we are, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm really eager to play this, and I know quite a few of you are eager to see me play it as well. I love how real the little towns feel. And the, the 
mines and the countryside around really creates a very engaging feeling world. Now this is a game with a a written in protagonist and we will obviously be playing that role but it, it is a game with a very set story at least in terms of your character there's not much in the way of character customization or being able to play different types of characters this, this scene right there reminded me so much of my, well, husband, my old house when how I was goes it? good I should get it finished today where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. Oh dear. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. That, that's, I, I mean, I, yeah, okay. Fair enough, I probably deserve it. It does look pretty late in the day. Probably shouldn't still be in bed. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. <sighs> get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. <laughs> Hear that? Fantastic. You not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Uh-oh. Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? Oh, dear. You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm, well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. I will absolutely come crying to mother if I get really hurt, actually. Might hold the tears inside, but I will definitely, there will be crying going on, whether I let other people see it or not. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Ah, well... Now, I actually quite like this way of introducing you to the character. By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. Okay, so, um, try thing in the town, I'd increase my speech, um, my agility, my vitality, or I can increase my strength. Now, this game, as you can probably guess, there's going to be some, some fisticuffs, but there's also quite often a way around these concerns. There's, there's almost always multiple ways you can solve any problem. The tutorial, like the first two-ish hours of the game, are much more on rails. Uh, I, I was speaking to Splattercat, who has apparently played a bit more. And he said it was like three hours. I don't know. I haven't played enough of it to, to find out. But you do get to a point where it becomes an open world RPG. But there's a bit of a more involved tutorial that sets the stage, if you will. But uh, even within this, there are multiple ways of solving pretty much any problem. Um, and uh, let's see. Vitality is, is affects your stamina recovery, also generally your, your health. Agility affects not just how fast you can move, but uh, um, how likely you are to land blows, how quick, how likely you are to be able to parry and, and be more nimble in combat. And I imagine it probably comes into play in stealth. Speech, obviously, is more your charisma stat, um, how well you can talk your way out of situations. And strength, just straight up strength, really. It, you, your blows will hit harder. You'll be able to carry more. You'll be able to um, perform uh, in-game feats 
for example, uh, just plucking an example out of thin air, I'm not sure if this will make itself uh, shown in the game, but I could imagine somewhere where I'd have to move something, maybe something barring a door, and if my strength is enough, I can just do it. If not, then I'm going to have to find another way around, that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to say... Yeah, I was working in the forge. I was sweating in the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. Uh. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. I mean... <laughs> Matthias was teaching me archery. Uh, that might not be too bad. Or I, I was with Bianca. It's not passing questions. Uh, does it matter being a bit more... Brazen. No, no, I'm going to go for speech. Why would I be interested in sword fighting, Mother? You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't Love you? Love his accent, by the way. What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, Ma. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. Right, okay, so now I can ask a couple of questions. By the way, this is not in any way an accent appropriate to the region. I am... All but certain, I mean, Bohemian isn't really there anymore, so I, ca I can't say with absolute certainty, but <laughs> I'm pretty certain, because I know where these accents actually do come from, and they're not Bohemian. Still, it's, it's nice to hear them for me, because they, they, they're much more the sorts of accents that I'm familiar with. But uh, have my friends been here? Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Um, aren't my friends chunks? Am I sure about that? I'm not sure about that, actually. I, but I will say you're misjudging. Well, yeah, you're misjudging. That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. What? If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. Uh, all right. There's probably no no point in arguing with my mother. I, I've, I've, I've heard mothers talk like that. There's, there's no point in, in, in continuing that conversation. Uh, yeah, is Pa angry with me? Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzi. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I slept no. with a promise. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He I always says it's an son. ease ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Hmm. Uh, do you need help while I'm you need me to do anything, both of you? Or rather, my Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm try fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. All right, all right. Um, well, you already said there's breakfast on the table, so I'm not going to say I'm hungry. Of course I'm hungry. I just woke up. All right. Uh, ba -ba -dum. Is the breakfast on the table? Yes, there is. There is... Lentil soup. I think this is lentil soup. Let me... Can I... There we go. Uh, I, but my soup is over there. My soup is all the way... Uh, well, let me check my inventory. Can I see the inventory on the table from here? That would actually be pretty cool. Uh, no, I can see my inventory though, but uh, okay. Uh, I've got some keys and, and such things. This is my food indicator here. Uh, this game actually does deal with nourishment in, in quite a good way. In that you can be overfed, which is great. But you're going to be slow and clumsy and, you know, the things that happen when you're overfed. When your belly is full, and I mean full of food, then everything, just, the world seems to move fast because you're moving a little slower. If you're undernourished, 
then you're not going to have as much er energy as you normally would. And there is a sweet spot. And if you can manage to keep in that sweet spot for a, for a, a good couple of days in succession, then you actually get um, healthier. You, you get various bonuses. Uh, here's all of our equipment slots, all of our stats down there. We'll cover them more uh, when we actually need to. Uh, we have got a perk, I believe. Yes, we've got a perk that I can take for strength, I, I think. Can, yes, I can. I can learn one. Oh, how marvelous. Can I learn any others? No. Uh, I believe strength is one of the ones where I'll get an extra perk every two levels for strength. So I can take stronghold, which... Uh, let's get some info on it. Blocking an opponent's blows will cost you 30% less stamina. That's actually not bad. And carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina, and they will burden you only half as much. I think I'll go for Stronghold instead. There we go. Do you really want to learn this? Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. Um, where, how often do I get a new perk here? Yeah, every other level up. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, we've got speech down here. We'll get a perk for every fourth level up. So we're quite a fair old ways off from getting that one, unfortunately. But we've already gained a little bit of speech just by talking to our ma. And we've got various perks on there. Now, this game, I'm going to say this right now. Some people may find this a little bit uh, hard to deal with because our eyes... The camera is attached to our eyeballs. We see the world as we would see them. I've got legs. You've no idea how happy I am to have legs. So few games actually give me legs. Uh, I, I really want, I want breakfast. Let me get to my breakfast. Can I, can I sit down there? Can I sit down here? No, no. I, I want to sit next to the food. Oh, my Lord, Henry, you're so slow. All right, let's, let's go around. You take ages to sit down. Right, that, that, almost. Um, I Henry. have to get something to eat. I'm starting to Don't get Don't make me jump on the furniture, Henry. Uh, fine, fine. Jumping on the furniture is lentil soup. Shall be mine. Um, actually, I'll also take two bread rolls, I think. Can, can I? Uh, th that will do. Can I get the other one? Yes, I can. And an apple as well. I think that'll, that'll be a good, good breakfast. Well, actually, we'll just have the lentil soup. Well, is there? Oh, there is, there's food in the pot. Uh, I'll have a bowl of pottage, actually. Mm. No, no, I think uh, I could drop this into the pot, but I think I might mess with my mother's cooking. She wouldn't be best, please. So I'll just gobble that down. There we go. I am probably well nourished at this point. Nourishment 65. I could push it further if I really wanted to. But at this point, my stamina is good, and we've got uh, some soup with us to bring along. Uh, I can bring up extra information. Nourishment of 8. That's actually not too high. Uh, if you eat like meats and things like that, then nourish you tends to at least much more. It's got no alcohol in, in it. More's the pity, really. It's very fresh. The basic things like apples, breads, they will stay fresh for a lot longer than cooked meals. Uh, especially meat. That will, uh, that will go bad very quickly. Okay, we should go and uh, speak with our father. Uh, but this is the part that I'm, I'm worried some people have a problem with, the, the head bob. Now, I've not noticed if there is a way of turning that down, but I actually really like it. It makes me feel like I'm moving around properly. Uh, I like it when Come the first here, person games actually feel like you are just seeing them in first person. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Uh, I'm a really bad son. I promised my father I'm going to help him, and then I just sleep through it. That, that is uh, that's genuinely terrible. Uh, sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals when talking to people. You can often choose what kinds of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by your reputation you have at the moment with the person you're talking to. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well-groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a big difference to how people respond to you. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you, and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength, and also, uh, and sorry, and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment. So, if you show up to someone you're incredibly strong, eh, they might they might take you seriously. If you show up to them and you're incredibly strong, you've got a massive um, double-bladed axe slung over your back. You're in raggedy furs and also covered in blood. They're really going to be inclined to be intimidated by you. And I love that that actually matters. I really love that 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 matters. Uh, you can sometimes rely on money and just bribe people. In special cases, you can use skills. For example, if you're talking to someone about horses, then maybe your horsemanship skill is going to come into play there. 
Um, different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily, no matter how well you dress. You won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value, but they're compared with the abilities of his counterparts. You can see the value of various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities, but your counterparts will only be visible if, you, if it's someone you know, or if you're particularly good at reading people. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, in the example there, we can see that the guard is hasn't got um, too much um, like prestige and charisma. Um, we don't know how good they are at talking, but they're not likely to be intimidated by us because they're more intimidating, that sort of thing. And I really, really like that. Also, it isn't just, well, as it says there, it isn't just the stats, though. The outcome is influenced by other factors, for example, your reputation, whether you're dirty or bleeding, etc. If you can't outdo the nimble tongue of a merchant, for example, you may want to poison him a little first and then he will be easier to persuade. Or if you lead a guard away from his friends, he'll be easier to scare. So yeah, absolutely. You you want to talk to someone who's likely to be made bold and courageous by the proximity of his allies? Try to talk to him when his allies aren't around. It's going to be an easier job. And I love that. Okay, uh, I had to do something. Sorry, I wanted to have a look around. Um, I want to be ordered around. Oh, none of these are good. None of them are good. But I'll go with sorry I wanted to have a look around. I'll just hope my charisma's okay. Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. What? Really? How, my oh, wow. boy? When are you going to get some sense? He bought anyway, it. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money, then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Yeah, I can't imagine that would well. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her All name right. is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. We have many, many tasks ahead of us. Very well. Buy a bag of charcoal at the market, collect the debt of Kunesh, and pick up the cross guard at the castle. Okay, well, we'll go and uh, take care of the castle first, I think. Hello! Let's have a chat. God be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right, they're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Oh dear, that's a bad question. <sighs> Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. You know, it does occur to me that we might not have to rush quite so much if I'd actually gone up in the morning. Oh, Henry. Henry, Henry, Henry. We need, we need to have a word about, about your slovenly behaviour, frankly. Especially breaking promises to your bloody father. There are some things that you just can't forget. Or forgive. Uh, thankfully, it seems our father is the sort that will forgive. Probably won't forget. Uh, you can find information about the quest in the quest log. Okay, and for clarity, there are also indicated on the map as well as on the compass. So we've got uh, a couple of tags on the little compass above. A, B, C, 
and D, I imagine, and possibly E as well. Let's have a look. Uh, actually, I can't see D. Hmm. We've got A, B, C, and E at the very least. Uh, this is me. That is the grindstone. I think we can fast travel. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, this is just a marker for this town. Oh, right, right. We can we can go quite far. I like the map. I like the map quite a lot, actually. Okay. Let's head back down. And we'll have a look at our quest log. So, go to sword fighting lens. <laughs> I can't imagine that my mother will be best pleased. Buy a bag of charcoal at the market. Collect the debt from Kunesh and buy a little... Oh, D was probably getting the cross guard. I just did it in the wrong order. Uh, I started getting some training in sword fighting from a mercenary who turned up in Scalitz recently. A father and mother mustn't find out. For some reason, they don't want me to learn to defend myself. I got a bit of a cut yesterday's lesson, though. We're supposed to meet by the alehouse again today. I have to go to the market and buy charcoal for father for the forge so we can finish the sword for Sorantic. And great, I've got uh, I've got to get money from uh, other things from Kunesh, who still owes father money. He's too soft on that drunk. I suppose he feels sorry for Kunesh since his wife ran off, but I'm damned if I know how I'm supposed to get money out of him. It goes without saying, I also have to bring ale for father. I've been doing that since I was big enough to carry the pitcher. Fresh and cool, as always, to quench the heat of the forge, but I'll have to get that last so it doesn't get warm. Okay, well, that's fair enough, then. All uh, right. Okay. Beautiful village is beautiful, as is everything in this game. Uh, I have turned motion blur off, but it does look like it may still be some post-processing uh, post things going on. Uh, which king do you mean? Master Tobias? The one sitting in some godforsaken dungeon, or the one who holds the key to the dungeon? Uh, Yes. These are strange times. They are strange times. But since I serve our liege lord Sir Radzik, I think you know the answer. True. But where will Sir Radzik take the silver? Hardly to Kuttenberg. Now its citizens bend their knees to Sigismund. Uh, Unfortunately, that's not my problem. Perhaps Sir Radzik is keeping it at the castle until this whole unhappy story reaches its end. I only hope Sigismund doesn't get an appetite for our silver too. Oh dear. That makes two of us. But back to business. I'll need three wagon loads. That is quite quite dangerously foreshadowing. Charcoal burner, well I haven't got money yet. Uh hey, no. Do you want to learn something? No. I don't think so. Thanks. Suit yourself. No. Hail to the hero. So you haven't changed your mind about learning the craft of warfaring. No. I most certainly have not. But you will notice that there is there is some somewhat of a difference between some of the quality of the voice act in this game, and it can be a little bit jarring. But for the most part, the characters that you're going to be talking to and that are important to the story, um, the ones you're going to be talking to the most, they do tend to have pretty pretty solid voice acting. There there are some some uh, odd choices for just uh, bystanders though that that can kind of be distracting now and then. Just a forewarned is forearmed kind of situation there. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Uh, uh, yes. Nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? I am indeed. Let's go. Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Now we can just follow along. Everything in this, this world just feels so interactive. People don't just disappear and appear at their next quest location. They'll just walk there. Other people are just doing their daily things. Some will go and fill a, fill a pitcher with water from... Uh, sorry, a bucket with water from the well. Others will go to the tavern. You can just wander around. You can follow them to and fro. You can work out where things are just by watching the world around you and how other people interact with it. And I really, really appreciate a game that has that kind of level of detail. Uh, right, so we're going to be going for our first combat lesson. You'll get a taste for how the combat works in the game. Though we're not really going to be doing much combat anytime soon. Not real combat, anyway. Or at least I very much hope we're not. 
Uh, I need a little bit of time. I need to I need to level up, though. The only way you're really going to level up strength is doing things that require strength. You know, there's different things that might do that. I'm not sure if just carrying a lot of stuff will ever train your strength, but there's there's plenty of things. There are even some conversations that'll sort of increase your strength, and I think that's kind of playing on the idea that it's increasing your confidence and, and perhaps uh, how intimidating you you might be. Uh, but we have now discovered the combat arena, so let's have a talk, Master Vanyak. So, can we get started? We can indeed. We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Right, yep. Going to be dashing around. Yep. Slow, fast sometimes, hold down shift. Like, you'll manage to keep up, though, which is fine. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your Okay. Attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try right slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Right up. Okay, so we'll go for this side since you didn't have your sword there. Uh, this one. Oh. oh, that was a terrible shot. It is a little bit tricky to get used to ah, to the way this all works let's go for an underhand slash and the point of the blade is oh. for stabbing try it a few times okay now that's right click let's go for the middle <laughs> center mass for the middle again let's go for the leg now you... now you... right. go for the head good oh. good let's try something else one strike i can fend off without a sweat but if you chain your strikes i'll have a much harder time as soon as you land one blow Follow it with another. Right here. Okay. I'm gonna try and hit it the moment that the the blade connects. That's when a chain strike happens. If you wait at all, then it's not gonna be a chain strike. So we'll go for a stab, and then immediately a slash. And another one. There we go. And we've reached a new level. Fantastic. A new perk point over here. Double fantastic. Right. That's enough. What? I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. Right, yeah. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. I do wish the subtitles would be anchored to the screen rather than following a character. It does make it much easier to see who's talking. But so would just having their name in subtitles because I'm fairly certain that it would have been very hard for anyone watching this video to read those subtitles above his head if you couldn't hear it so well. So I do apologize for that. Um, I will see if there are any settings that allow that. I didn't notice any when I was checking earlier though. But I do believe that we uh, got a level. So let's actually have a look at this. Have I got a level down here? No, I couldn't have. Uh, agility, new. Have I got a new perk from just my main level? Oh, I do. How often do I get new perks for my main level then? Let's have a look. Level is derived from your stats and your progress through the game. It's useful for comparing your characters to that of your friends. Okay. With every second level you reach, you can select one perk that will allow you to make your character more specialized. All right. Nice. Right, I'm going to have a static. You'll last 30% longer without food, but as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be 20% worse. Manly odor. When dirty, you'll have 50% more charisma when talking to women. However, people will smell your mile off, reducing your stealth score by 30%. Oh, my Lord. Nitrator, your stamina will regenerate 20% faster at night, but 10% slower during the day. Uh, slightly increases the sight distance of fast travel and also the chances of evading by 10% and wanderer. You grew up in impoverished conditions, so comfort of beds is inverted for you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep, and vice versa. Oh, okay. Um, I don't like the sound of 10% slower stamina recovery at day, but I, I, I do, do quite like the idea of 20% uh, faster at night. I'll just focus my character to do as much of their, uh, their fighting at night. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll learn that one. There we go. Uh, right, perfect. Let's dr uh, drop that down. Oh, 
still making a little bit of distance with agility. How do we raise agility specifically? Uh, it allows you to make strikes with uh, more sophisticated weapons such as sabers, more skilled at archery. Archery in turn will also increase agility. Uh, an agile character not only moves fast, but is also better at evading strikes. Okay, well, uh, I, archery seems to be one of the main ones for doing that. I do like using ranged weapons in these sorts of games. I, I like honestly using the weapon that's best for the situation. A sword when you're close and, an, and a bow when you're far away. It makes quite a lot of sense, but uh, I don't tend to favour one over the other. I, I won't be there like backpedalling as fast as I can just so I can get one or two extra shots. I'll more than likely use a bow to instigate combat and get some initial damage on someone who has to advance to me, but once they're reasonably close I'll switch to my weapon and then just charge in. Uh, I, I tend to prefer that style of combat where you're more fluid with what you're doing. Uh, we're just marking all of the traders now. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can complete any quest, as I mentioned. Um, I happen to know that trying to get the money off the blacksmith is going to be a pain. Uh, but you can just bypass that altogether. And the easiest way to demonstrate that... Uh, well, actually, we'll first go through the tavern. But uh, you can make money in a lot of different ways in this game. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to? He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German oh counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, Henry. Your king. I'm with you, so Matthew. What's Henry going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? And Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. What do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this. Oh dear. He would have you whipped like a dog. That's your deal will soon then. have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Kutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman <laughs> Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. Yeah, I probably exactly. should. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. He's also probably but what drank. can you do? I might have an idea. Oh dear. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You're too old, right, Matthew. We should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know... The one right next to his freshly whitewashed house? Really? <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. <laughs> but, throwing some turds will do. What do you say, Henry? Okay, so between throwing but poop... I to get ale for father and a or setting it on fire. Hmm. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And... It's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? <sighs> These are my friends. And I'm not really sure I agree with their plan. No. No, I, look, he's just drunk. Yes, he's saying really stupid things, and that's going to get him in a lot of trouble. And perhaps we can maybe just go over there and have a talk with him. But let's, let's not make things worse. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsch a lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. <sighs> How could you pass a good chance like this? Easy? I've not got gloves and you're asking me to throw manure at a building? 
Uh, I'm sorry, but... Huh. You've learned the Western schism. There's quite a few codex entries popping up. Pope Benedict the uh, 13th. And Albert the 4th of Hasburg. So many codex entries. <laughs> There's a lot in here. Like Some of it is just the like, game stuff, then locations, events, society, characters. There's a ridiculous amount of things in here for us to look at. And... Let me know in the comments if you're interested, and if so, in what? Like, if you would like me to go over the various characters. Understand, there's going to be a lot. This this is based on history, and there's a lot of history. And we have reasonable documents, uh, reasonable records of history. And I can only imagine that quite a lot of that is going to be in here. So understand what you might be getting yourselves into if you request it. But if there is an interest in me going through these on camera, then I will be happy to do so. I actually quite enjoy um, dipping in... in into history and learning some things that I might not uh, uh, remember or might never have learned in, in school. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm completely cool with that, but we will be spending quite a while reading if that's what we do. Uh, general stuff like about games, I'll probably check over mechanics if and when I need to rather than as soon as stuff is available. Uh, what else is going on down here then? Let's have Welcome, a chat. Welcome, Henry. Hello. Embroidering is a nice. Uh, you all just started. No, that's fine. That's fine. We all start somewhere. I'm sure it's going to be lovely when you're done. All right. What else is going on then? I'm fairly certain my friends went out the back there. Let's actually go and talk with Deutsch. <laughs> the fact that they call the German Deutsch. <laughs> I feel that this is. No wonder he's in a foul mood. That's like just coming up to me and calling me Welsh. Mind you, actually quite a few people call me Taff, which is more or less the way that English people call Welsh people Welsh. Which is a bit curious. Uh, hello, Bianca. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Uh, well, we don't have to be completely honest. I mean, both are, both are honest, I'm sure. Uh, given that this is Bianca, and apparently I spent a lot of time, ah, we'll go with Your this beauty, one. Your beauty, of course. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, noble sir, I'm as honoured as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, ah, uh, you are sharp. What else might your worship desire? Well, uh, now we can just trade. And this would actually be uh, a decent uh, time to trade, but I don't have any money, so no, it wouldn't be. Uh, I'm stuck right next to him, but perhaps I should let her know that that uh, Deutsch is, is just being really dumb in her tavern. The Deutsch is mouthing off again. Oh, don't talk to me about him. He's a good customer, but when it comes to politics, he's unbearable. The number of times I had to throw him and the others out so they wouldn't start brawling. Well, I'd say he's an exceptional forum today. Uh, we'll leave the picture for father because I've got to no keep it warm. Certainly, come home and stop disgracing us. Oh, I are. said hardly anything. Shut up and come with me. Honestly, mate, best thing that could have happened for you. I, I'm assuming this is your wife. Genuinely, really good plan. Ah, uh, well done on on trying to keep him in check. You did a poor job, but at least you tried. Kind of want to follow. That, that's so mercenary. <laughs> well, not mercenary. That, that's just, I, I feel like a gossiping old maid. I just I just want to see you get into trouble. Uh, you do deserve it, though. Scallywag. Uh, right. Oh, this is one way that we can make a little bit of money. I'm not sure if we can actually pick dock leaves, though. Uh, but we can actually pick quite a lot of things, flowers around the place, and then you can just sell them. Can we pick daisies. Uh, oh, chamomile, rather. Well, you know, daisies and chamomile look kind of the same, actually. <laughs> Just chamomile are very big compared to daisies. Uh, can we pick any more flowers? Really, I bailed on my friends to pick flowers. Uh, still, it'll make me some money, and it might give me an option to not have to deal with the drunkard. Ooh, sage, yes. Now, there is alchemy. Uh, dandelions absolutely can make dandelion tea. In fact, you can make tea out of quite a lot of things. Chamomile, for example. Uh... But dandelions are especially good, in my opinion. Yeah, let's grab a little bit down here as well. And then we're going to go and have a have a gander at how things are going. <laughs> so the problem is, 
people get a get a few tankets of ale in them and suddenly they think they know everything about po uh, politics and they are actually uh, as, as well informed as all the nobility and that's just not true and especially when you you happen to be on the estates of someone who is loyal to a king that you're bad-mouthing, it could go go quite poorly. I think I think his mother coming along and uh, uh, his mother, well, <laughs> honestly, might well have been. I don't know, coming along and, and dragging him off. Uh, yeah, probably, probably the best best outcome for that. There we go. We've got got a couple of flowers. Uh, let me just check how much they're worth. Uh, let's see other items. Uh, they're not too bad. Actually, the sage is worth quite a lot. Ooh. I approve. Uh, hello? Hello? Why are you going around here? All sneaky-like. Can, can I talk to you? Please stop. Stop running. Oh, I can tackle you. It wasn't trade. It was tackling. Welcome, what? Henry. Oh, dear. I should hope so. Oh, dear. So stop hanging around here and go and... Catch them! All in good time. First, I'd like to know just what I'll get out of all this chasing. Don't worry. Ah. I'll give you what's due when you catch them. But first, you have to catch them. A shrewd guardsman, to be sure. Ah, uh, that, that, that's a shame. Uh, can I speak with you? No, I can't. Well, I mean, see, this is the problem. Is you're not just punishing one person. He may have been the one that was saying all that stuff, but he he's clearly living... I, I am assuming that's his wife, actually. Despite the fact she had to talk to him like his mother. Seriously, Deutsch. Uh, mind you, I had to have a, a, an earful from my mother this morning because I'm a layabout, apparently. And all what she would say if she caught me picking flowers. Uh, but I still... I need to get money. There's, there's a reason for, for this. Can I... Oh, marigold, yes. Oh, a nettle! Even better! I can make several types of tea now. Ah, oh, fantastic. I've reached a new level in herbalism, too. Uh, but I really should be trying to ca uh, collect some more sage, because that appears to be much more valuable. There we are. Grab the marigolds. And one more. And then I think we should go and we'll do a little bit of trading, just so I can show that off. I was really, really impressed with, with the trading. I, I found it quite, quite enjoyable. I mean, it, it's not breaking new ground or anything like that, but it was actually quite uh, quite engaging, I felt. Uh, it, there was a nice amount of feedback. You you, you, you felt good about what you were doing. Uh, you felt it was easy to manage, or at least I did. Now, uh, who would be the best person to sell flowers to? Um, anyone, I guess. Let's go and have a check. Hello. Let's talk trade. Now. I can buy from you. Uh, you've got various foodstuffs, which is always good. You've got no weapons, of course. Uh, however, what I would really like to do is sell to you. Uh, I could sell the lentil soup. I don't think I will. So this is conditioned uh, weight and price. Uh, what have I got? Can I actually sell the flowers? I can't sell the flowers. Oh, crap. Um, all right, I'm going to sell the two bread rolls. I'm going to add both of these to the basket. There we go. And now we go to the basket, and we can actually close the deal. But I'm going to haggle instead, because this is a good way of raising your speech Can we skill. do something about the price? Naturally. Fantastic. I'm very glad that you're open to haggling. Haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. You select the amount you want to pay or get with W and S and confirm with E. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is a refusal, he or she may make a counter offer and wait for your response. Uh, at the top is our money, the original purchase price, the, the price that we're asking for, and down the bottom is the important part to look at here. Um, if this uh, the slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means that either you or the trader don't have the money, but dragging out the handling with one offer after another will gradually try the trader's patience, and eventually they'll drop the haggling completely. You can see how close you are to getting to that point from the trader's icon below the bar. The more gold it is in the background, the closer the trader is to dropping the haggling. Every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. And we do not want that. So uh, let's go ahead and try this out. Now, right now, they're not too unhappy about this. Let's, let's just try and get an extra two. Let, let's just see how that, that uh, point two. This is it. a waste of time. Oh, dear. Oh no, she straight up didn't want to trade. Wow, okay. 
that usually does not quite go as poorly as that. Let's uh, have a little chat. Now, that's one thing I actually did want to show up. You don't have all the time in the world to make these trades. If you make a trade that to them is just preposterous, that you are being outrageous with what you're asking, their patience will immediately be completely wasted and they'll just immediately dismiss the trade, as we saw just there. Now, let's uh, see if we can't do a little bit better here. Let's add all 11 dandelions, thank you. And the two marigolds, indeed, all of my nettles and all of my sage. Right, I accept. I will get 6.9 gold out of this, but I can see if we can haggle a little bit. So let's give that a try. I believe that your like skill only goes up price. if you are successful. Sure, why not? Fantastic. That's the spirit. Right, I would like a little bit more. Let's see if we can't go all the way to 8, and we'll see how you feel about that. What about this? You won't convince me with that. Okay, well, what will convince you? 7.2. Now that has greatly filled the, the, the traders uh, rather trying their patience. We'll give it another one if we really want to. We don't have to, but we can try. Sure. Since it's you. I mean, I'm cutting you a special That's deal better. here. Drop in a bit more and we'll call it a deal. Uh, all right. Yeah, they, they're getting angry now. No, sure. We'll, we'll take that. Now, unfortunately, every time you haggle, you are dealing with the traders like overall perception of you like your reputation with them will take a hit by doing this at all so you know sometimes don't even haggle or maybe even give them more than you usually would you can use haggling to give them a bit extra which will increase their their uh, feelings towards you very well i agree excellent that got us a little bit of extra cash which i approve of now then uh, what? Mm, no, I don't, I don't need any of those things for now. Bless you, wife. Right. What we can do is hopefully buy this charcoal with the money we've got. God be with you. And with you. Let's talk trade. Now, I believe I needed 10. So let's go ahead and grab 10. That requires 5. We can pay that. We've got enough for it. So let's head over. And I'm going to once again haggle uh do, do i have information here about my reputation with them 94 they they actually quite like me so uh trading items for five no we're gonna go ahead and do a haggle can we do something about the price naturally fantastic oh i like these traders very accommodating i must say i would like to pay let's not be cheeky now let's pay 0.6 less than normal we'll see what about this Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. All right, so that wasn't so bad. Uh, uh, how about 4.6? Finally, a reasonable sum. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, right. Next, I could go and buy Father's Ale. And we could just skip past needing to talk with the drunk altogether. But... Uh, let's go and see what we can what we can do about it. Let's uh, actually have a look at my character though before we do. And uh, level is going up reasonably well. Speech is going up very quickly. I'm very very happy with that. Uh, and I believe that one goes up every four levels. And we may be able to get something like final offer, which will require a minimum level of four. When a trader loses patience with you during haggling, you get one more chance to make another offer, which would be very very useful. Uh, highborn increases your speech level by plus three when talking to nobles and wealthy people. You can't have the lowborn perk simultaneously, so it's one or the other. Either I'm I'm especially good at talking with lowborn, or especially good at talking with highborn. Uh, empathic, oh that would take a lot, but that would be quite nice. In dialogues, you will see your counterpart stats in skill checks. Uh, silver tongue increases your speech skill when haggling. Troubadour, you have a 50% higher reputation when you talk to women, so you can persuade them more easily, and you can avail of Bath Wench's services for free. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Uh, trustworthy middlemen merchants will be more willing to buy stolen items from you. Well, you know, okay. Maybe. Maybe we could do that. Or maybe we shouldn't. We'll see how things go. Right, uh, people over in the field back there, I believe. Now, where are you? There we are. 
Hello, Kunesh. So we'll be with you, we? Kunesh. What do you want? Ah, uh, money. Father sent me for My money. Father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Oh, come on now, Kunesh. I don't think that's true. <sighs> he's in a foul temper, though, and he's, he's also the, the town drunk, so I'm assuming he may well even be drunk right now, but I'm... We'll, we'll lay off a little bit. At least pay for the tools. You know you owe Father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. <gasps> Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Oh, really now? Well, I have no idea about Kunesh in any of the stands. Uh, hmm. Uh, well, we could try speech. My speech isn't very high. We could just say the you know, we, we've got what, what my father wanted anyway. We could just take it back, but... No, debts must Look, be paid. I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square uh, wheel. Henry? It's no wonder you're short of coin. Henry. Th but a this, debt's a debt. This is not you how... You can't leave here oh without something. Oh dear. You son of a whore. How oh, now, now like you've that? escalated. Didn't your thieving father teach you anything? Oh, you've escalated twice. No? Well, I'll teach you then. All right, well, uh... Very well, we are now going to be coming to Fissy Cups. Okay, and uh, see. There we go. And now, our tutor told us that we need to uh, follow through with our attacks where we can. Go for a quick punch, and another one, and another. Come on. Oh, we're terrible at this. Fissy Cups is apparently not our forte, but we haven't well, taken a, a big hit yet. Nope. Just back off. Keep him approaching. Me. Let my stamina recover, because our punches aren't going to do anything if we have no stamina. Come on. I don't want any of this bullet time shenanigans. I'm having a fist fight. We're not We're not in the Matrix. Or at least I don't think we are. Hopefully we're not. And follow up. A couple of fast punches. You can see uh, his health in the bottom there. It's the purple bar. And uh, we'll go for a heavier below if we can. Oh, I should have gone there if I could have. That would have been a good time to attack. I'll slay you. you no, you scum. won't. Oh. Come on. Ah. Oh, damn. Yes. He's nimble. This is not as easy a fight as I had hoped. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Come on then. Oh, oh that hurt a bit. That hurt quite a lot, actually. Okay. I did nothing there and I ran out of stamina. And he got a couple of solid blows on me. Uh, let's wind up for a big hit. Oh, no. Nope. Ah. Didn't really work. Can I? Oh, ouch. He's going with the fast blows. Oh, my health is down. I have taken a bit of a bit of a pounding. I'm probably going to lose this fight, I'll be honest with you. Wind up. Nope. Nope. Ouch. Yep. Scallywag. You can kick if you want to. It doesn't seem to be working for me right now. But uh, we have not hurt him at all. But he has hurt us quite a lot. Actually. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. A couple of blows there. And follow through. No, nope, that didn't work. Now, uh, he's guarding quite well. I'm over you here. can guard with Q. Okay, my warfare. I'm actually leveling up in this fight. We've got a couple of uh, light blows. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. He parried me there. Not a big fan of that, actually. See if I can follow through. Okay, my strength is leveled up as well. Okay, well, that's actually pretty cool. We can level up in Bloody the middle of the fight, on, not just at the, the end. Oh, that was a decent... Wallop in the face. And you'll notice he's getting bruises at the moment. And that will happen for us as well. We'll end up looking like we've been through the wars. What's the nope, that was a bit bad. Well, the, the problem is you called A, my mother a whore, and my father a thief. You scallywag. Family honour on the line now. Now I've said that, I'm going to feel especially bad if I fail. Nope. Charging. He opened himself up. Oh, there we go. We're actually getting better at fighting as we're fighting, which is actually kind of weird, but... Uh, there we go. Yeah, we've lost a couple now. We've got a couple of solid hits, but none of them were big blows, unfortunately. Oh, there we are! Take that, you scoundrel! I give up! Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? I do understand, and that, that doesn't make any of this any better. My lord. Kunesh, you're a scoundrel, you are. 
You can always see your health in the red bar on the lower edge of the screen. The level of health also determines the maximum level of stamina. So it's a good idea to heal yourself. Uh, yeah, that's probably good, right? We're going to take this axe. You're not going to pay up. I'm going to take the goods back. You can speak oh, with my father like later. Smith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. Let's hope for your sake I have. We've already established who is, is the most sprightly. I, I'm probably a decade, probably more, your, your, your uh, junior, and you're drunk. Know when you've lost the fight, Kunesh. Uh, yeah, you didn't actually have any gold at all. So I don't feel at all bad about taking the axe now. I am literally just taking the things back because you can't pay for them. I'm not taking them and your money to teach you a lesson. No, seriously, you're lucky. Lucky I didn't ble bloody use the axe on you, considering your foul mouth to my parents. My lord. But with that, I think we've done just about everything we needed to do. Uh, let's go and grab the ale. It's the last thing we needed to do. Ah, uh, my, my, poor, my poor beautiful face. I'm wounded. Injured head. Well, yes, I was beaten up a bit. Uh, can I get any more info on that? No, I can't, but... Uh, oh, my face. I've got bruises. And they will they will stack. Thankfully, I've got no blood. So, you know, he didn't break my nose or anything, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, that's not too bad. Strength is doing okay. We probably won because our, our strength went up during that fight. And our warfare also went up. How often? New pair points unlock at levels 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Alright, that's fair enough. Uh, unarmed? Any any perks? No, there are no perks that we can't actually open it up. But what, what sort of things will we see in warfare? Bloodletter? Rusty Edge? Really? Rusty Edge sounds bad. The more damage your sword, the greater your chance of poisoning your opponent when you hit them, even without poison. If you do have poison, then uh, on a damage weapon, the chance of uh, administering it are increased by half. That that is that is brutal. But uh, that was kind of the thing that used to go on. You know, people would have duels, and they they bathe their blade in pig's blood before the duel. Yeah, you know what? You're not going to die from from being poked by a sword, at least if at least if they don't hit an organ. But you might. A, die from internal bleeding, but if you don't, even if you like stab in the arm, you're probably going to give them a horrific infection with that. And back then, yeah, a horrific infection was more or less a death sentence anyway. Uh, dishonorable, if you ask me. All right, let's uh, go and speak with Bianca. I need to get me some ale for my father. And I love the way that the, the lighting affects how well you can see. You move from a bright place to a dark place, and for a few seconds, your eyes need to adjust before you can actually Enjoy see anything. It. Hello, Bianca. I was waiting until you finished there. Looks like you have. Don't well, be rude. you're a sight for sore eyes. Ah, right. Uh, a pitcher for father, please. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Oh, how did cool he manage to cellar. scratch the back of my head? But of course. Here you are. Thank you. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. I wouldn't hear of it. Out of the question. Here you go. Okay, and Henry, you're not so bad after more all. For you. Even though you do break promises <laughs> to your father. wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. Ooh, uh. <laughs> you too. Double ooh. Uh. Um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyak. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? Oh uh, dear. He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use will that be to you? Oh no, you as well. Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Triple Uwe? Now what would that be? Your favourite... Save your schnapps. Really? Oh, oh I mean, you're yeah. an angel. <laughs> That's good too. I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet. I, I will. knew it. Triple U uh, confirmed. And three, save your snaps. The game auto saves from time to time at important points in each quest and when you sleep. If you want to save the game yourself, you must drink the potion, save your snaps. However, this is an alcoholic drink. You always have a maximum of three of your own saved games. The oldest is overridden. Oh, okay, that, that's actually cool. So you can't just save whenever you want. And that is, yeah, I'm not always keen on that simply because uh, 
for let's playing purposes, it's nice to be able to wrap an episode up when there is a, a natural break in the story. But uh, okay, I guess that's what I'm going to be using these Savior Snaps for. But that is going to be it for this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed so far. In the next one, we're going to be talking with Father and bringing him all of the... Uh, well, they're not ill-gotten. I took them back because the scallywag wouldn't pay for it. Also, he called my mother a whore and my father a thief. Frankly, I let him off lightly. I, I feel that... Uh, He's, he's just sitting down. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't have done any Welcome. more than that anyway. He's clearly just a drunk in the same way Deutsch was. You shouldn't, shouldn't maim a person because they say stupid things when they're drunk. Give them a hiding, okay, maybe. But uh, that's probably not even strictly going to teach a lesson. That's probably just going to make them angry with you and bitter that they lost. But frankly, I don't care about that part. He deserved it. But that is going to be it for now. Do let me know in the comments what you think about the game so far. And if you would like me to read the codex entries. But also, uh, just let me know what you think about me uh, checking out a, a role-playing game like this on the channel. It's a little bit different from my usual fare. And I would be very, very interested in your feedback. But that's going to be it from me for now. So thank you very much for joining me. And I hope to see you in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.